Hi everyone, what we're looking at in this video are the different types of running. So starting out we're looking at forwards running. So if you have a hurley in your hand you should only have it in one hand, your hurley hand, and it should be nice and short when you're trying to run. Your knees should be coming up as far as your hips if possible, and your heels should be coming very close to touching your bum. Next one then is running backwards, so I'll be making sure that I'm able to, on the balls of my feet, I keep them nice straight back and I'm moving my arms hip to lip and I'm looking straight ahead, just checking over my shoulders every few steps. Next one then is shuffling side to side. Important thing here is that your feet don't touch each other so your heels shouldn't be clicking, you should be able to move laterally. Next one then is shuffling side to side, so being able to do it with your knees bent or down closer to the ground. Then moving zigzags, so being able to turn diagonally, so it's changing off left and right foot. And then progressing on to be able to do this shuffling left to right, being able to do it forwards and also being able to do it backwards. This is really important being able to do this backwards because if you're able to defend someone running straight at you, this is an important skill to be able to do. Next one then is being practicing getting your knee up as far as your hips, so starting off with a march. So if your left knee comes up, your right arm should move, and if your right knee it's your left, so opposite arm to opposite leg. Your knee should be trying to come up parallel to the ground as far as your hip, and then progressing it on then to be able to do it with fast steps. Being able to get your knee up as far as your hip is really important because if you're able to do that, you're able to take longer strides when you're running. So the higher your knee comes when you're sprinting, the longer strides you have. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you enjoyed it.